So in Valorant gain, if you're receiving VAN 9003, which says requires secure boot. So if you're receiving this error message, then first of all, close this and then type in MS info 32 in, in the search box and then go to system information. And over here you can see secure boot state is off in my case. So you have, you have to enable the secure boot. Now to enable the secure boot, you have to go to the system BIOS. Now to go to the system BIOS, you have to find the BIOS key for your system. Now for Dell computer, here you can see Dell BIOS key F2 or F12 will take you to the system BIOS. In Lenovo, it is F2 or FN plus 2. Uh, in HP, it's F10, Asus, F9 or delete. MSI laptop delete or F2. So when you start the computer, when you see a system logo, like if you see a Dell logo or HP logo, you have to press this key. You have to press this key to go to the system BIOS. So uh, you can find your BIOS key in Google and then you have to shut down your computer. Now, once you shut down your computer, you have to start the computer. And as soon as you see the Dell logo or system manufacturer logo, just press the BIOS key and go to the system BIOS. So I have a Dell computer, I'll start the computer and I will press the F2 because F2 is the BIOS key for Dell computer in my case. So whichever is the BIOS key, press the BIOS key and it will take you to the BIOS screen. Now in the BIOS screen, you have to find boot option. So here in my case, it's boot configuration. So it might be boot option or security, wherever, uh, whichever is the option, you have to find the boot option in your system BIOS and make sure boot mode is set to UEFI. In my case, it's already set to UEFI. Now you can find the secure boot. So here you can see, I can see the secure boot in my system BIOS. So find secure boot option in your system BIOS and turn it on. In my case, it's off. So I will turn on the secure boot and then on the bottom, I have apply changes option. So hit apply changes, confirm the changes. And on the bottom, you will see bottom right here, I can see the exit option. So hit exit and then the system will restart. So you should not receive the error message anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.